if we like, have like a party normal. at the house for some reason i never drink ever i keep my distance away from the party i get very very anxious i don't know if it's because it's my house and i'm trying to like keep it clean and keep and make sure everybody's like neat like if like I make oh, sure everybody's yeah. fed. I make sure everybody has their drinks outside. Like just you're keep good, it here. You're being a good hostess, but yeah, but, I, <laughs> but I'm like, the no, complete opposite. But normally, like a host, right? No, even if you, at your house, I'm like no drinks. Like I, I have to take care of this party right now. <laughs> I have to I make won't. sure everybody's happy. I'm but the most like, drunk when it when I'm having a party. Like, but, uh, but that's yes. also like you, like you are very motherly. Oh, and you want to like care and look after everybody. Like, yeah. Don't worry, like, I'll clean up. Like, yeah. even if we go to Zane's here, whoever's house, like, you're, you're yeah. constantly, like, picking up or I love doing just it. helping. Yeah, I love doing it. But a big pet peeve is, like, when we are having a party and someone's like, stop cleaning for five seconds, have a shot. And I'm like, and that's when I start freaking out. Like, I'll have a panic attack and I'll go to Heath and I'm like, well, he's got googly eyes. I don't know who to go to. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, I'm so... <laughs> He's you like, you're fine, light it up. I, but and I, I feel like, like, oh like it's, it's another instance of it's like it, it being like, because again, it's like you respond differently depending on the situation. Like, yeah, like everyone's drinking around you, whatever, but it's it's your home and you're like, I want to be a good like hostess. Like in Z I get both ends of the spectrum too, because it's like in Zane's mind, it's like, I'm home. I'm in the that's, safest that's place possible. That's mm -hmm. probably oh, how yeah. I would feel too. Yeah. I'm in I the get, safest oh, yeah. environment that I can get as fucked up as I would like to because I can just you know go to go. bed. <gasps> yeah, I can just go to bed after. Oh, that sounds selfishly. Fun. That's like just selfishly. I mean, maybe a little. Yeah. We should that, that's switch. literally how I feel. And also it's kind of like and I'm I'm sure you feel this too. I will get fucked up <laughs> and know that in the morning I will deal with everything. Yeah. Like or I will. No, do seriously. Like, what, <laughs> what do you no, have to deal with? But like, like at the Denny house, we would get fucking destroyed. Oh, well, yeah. Exactly. And it's like, we didn't care about anything. We had the time of our lives. Didn't worry about anything. We would fucking go crazy. Do and whatever we, we would wanted. deal with all of it. In the, the morning, day? we would all as a group fucking. All right. Great. That was so much fun, dude. What a wild night. And we'll all fucking be sweeping. You know, we'll your all be picking up stuff. Yeah. We'll be throwing stuff away. Like. That's fine. Picking up. And like that was just kind of like the way it always yeah. was. Oh, I wish I could time travel to a Denny party. <laughs> I wish, I, no, it's a good I'm thing. just so curious to like That's my see superpower. Don't take it. <laughs> Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Whenever I throw a party and I wake up and somebody has cleaned the house from a party I threw. You could say my name. Uh, literally <laughs> nicest. You can use nicest my Nicest thing <laughs> like, that could be done for anybody. And that, that, that must sound so yeah. crazy. Like. That's like the nicest thing I've ever been. Well, <laughs> when somebody experience. cleans up after me when I'm fucked up. I'm from, from you saying you're 28 years old. From that position though, it's like you're waking up and half the time you're probably already hung over. So you're not feeling the best. Yeah. So that probably is a really good feeling. Like waking up and just being like, oh, somebody did this. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to worry about the fucking headache and the fact that I'm going to throw up. It, I don't, I honestly don't mind cleaning, but it's the fact that somebody has like done it like yeah. somebody was like you know what zane's gonna wake up and he's gonna see this kitchen and it's clean and he's gonna feel better like that like i'm that. gonna check this off his to-do list yeah you know it's like one less thing to worry about which is honestly like thank so you appreciated. Heath, for always cleaning my house after i throw I got you, baby. giant parties it's really nice of you honestly the the big thing <laughs> i'm sorry you have something to say <laughs> Mariah goes, am i getting no credit here <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think a big thing Life like even up. like <laughs> parties, cooking, whatever it is, like is cleaning as you go. Yes. If if you're done with something, just fucking throw it away in that yeah. moment. No. <laughs> exactly. <same>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're all going to be on cleaning TikTok in about ten minutes. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Cleaning> <laughs> I'm already cleaning, on it. Cleaning Windex. I'm on cleaning TikTok. Help. <laughs> Help. Help. Um, but yeah, if you, if you clean as you go and you're like on top of it. Throughout the night. Yeah. So much easier. Yeah. Helps so much. Tune into Zane and Heath Unfiltered for tips to clean up your house while you drink. We really, I, we really go through everything on this podcast. And that's do. why we're the number one podcast in the world. <laughs> According to Zane. In, According, the, in the nation. I think Logan Paul says that on every podcast. In the Milky the Way number galaxy. number one podcast in the world. I feel like I've been seeing more comments and more things being said about like we need another drunk podcast, and in my mind I'm just like we're fucked up. Yeah, every podcast. what's the difference? No, like, okay. So I'll I'll be the first to say it. Like we drink before every episode. Yeah. Like I'll have a couple like seltzers and yeah, like a shot. A lot of energy. So just it's like, like coffee, energy drink, then alcohol. It's very unhealthy. We get something in us to like let loose. Yeah. Before every episode, mm -hmm. but. 
the drunk episode was. I texted you after that episode. I was I was recovering and steps I was like steps and steps and steps above. Yeah, yeah. We were fucking crying. We were <laughs> two or three episodes that we've done so far that we were just completely hammered by the end of it, which were, were the uh, Stas and Tana episodes. Well, where we were just completely Sta- Stas. We were drinking through it, but we also recorded an hour after the podcast, blacked out. Oh yeah, where I had to cut like. An I hour of the end. That. I because we it. were <laughs> or, uh, cut in. <laughs> we were all just uh, 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 like Heath and gone. I were fighting about something for thirty fucking minutes. We were. We were like, I don't remember I don't what remember, it was, but it, it got to the point where everyone was just like, mm, "So," and well, we were no, just it got back to the point where like forth. me and Zayn were having a conversation over here. They were having a conversation oh, on these couches, oh, yeah. and it was like three podcasts going on. <laughs> like they were talking. Stas was. It was just like. Wait, we do, were, you have, do you want we me to be done. real and say like what happened to me yeah. during that episode? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who knows this. I had a panic attack and I called we, Devin. I ca- after as soon episode? as it was over, when you guys sat outside afterwards, uh-huh. I I was panicking. Hysterical Why? crying, like ran to my room, texted Devin because he was what? the only sober one. Because I was te- I was terrified. I had this like I was like about it being a bad out. episode. Or? Devin knew because I the whole end of the episode, the literally the, that last hour, I kept looking at him and I was, my heart was racing. I wasn't talking and I was just like, I have to pull through this. I was this close to running out and I was like, can we end it? And you guys were like, let's keep going. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm trying to, and I was trying to sit without oh being a Debbie God. Downer. I was trying to signal to somebody. So I was looking at the camera and Devin sign? knew. I was looking at the camera and I was giving him a look and he, that's why he was like, guys, we need to end it. Cause it might like, he said something and we were like, okay, fine. Oh, that's why he said as that. As soon as you guys stopped recording, I darted out of here and you guys were taking shots and stuff. I sat in, in my room. Still drinking. We were Still having drinking. the time of our fucking yeah, life and Mariah were, was yeah. about Mariah, to have a meltdown. Mariah wasn't I, drinking that yeah. podcast. Yeah. You I'm weren't? Not cool enough. <laughs> you weren't drinking? She no. was doing this. She goes, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my, that's, that's like, why the wall could, is so i could behind. not be around people that are drinking like it's that. the worst ha- it, it, I, yeah fuck that I, I hate being around people that are fucked up like i, I... <laughs> oh right is that why you had a panic attack i don't mind is that people why you drinking? Hate being around me? <laughs> i think the problem is when like i started freaking out more when nobody was hearing me out and i was like i have i can't i have to leave right now i have to leave right now so i darted out i i, I lay on if i have a panic like moment I lay on the floor. Like, that's like my thing. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh my God. It's like my thing. I don't know. I'm different. She's so random. I'm so random. I'm I, so put, random. I put my feet in like an ice bath. I, oh, I already stick my feet in the pool. <laughs> yeah. She said, bitch, I'm a ghost. <laughs> I'm on the floor. <laughs> um, and I texted Devin. I was like, please come to my room right now. And I was just like, I don't know who else to go to right now. Calm me down. I literally was like, totally fine after. I was like, all right, cool. I just needed it to end in that moment. I think it was a mix of being in the chair too long it was hours we it all was like we were here for three and a half, half hours, hours. think yeah. it was going to be able to go on that long because all of us knew that like oh sauce has to leave but then she became open to staying yes mm-hmm. so we didn't none of us bargained for it she, going she on that had, long uh plans beforehand that yeah, she had to leave right. but yeah. she was just like fuck it